I will take the opportunity to give an update of Renku. We are a medical device company based here in Lund, founded around 2014, focusing on brain recovery and improving life for intensive care patients. The common de denominator of our product is medical cooling. And in short, we developed three medical device products, brain cool system, which cooled patients at the ICU, mainly cardiac arrest patients, treatment of neurological fever from 32 hours up to 10, 15 days. Uh, this is our first product market. We launched it beginning of 2020, improved sales from 5, 10, 20, and have signed a, a large distribution deal recently with Sol Medical. Rhinoshield is also a brain cooling product which will take the brain cooling treatment one step further. It could treat patients already on the street when you get a cardiac arrest in a very early phase for stroke patients, which are then transferred to the brain cool system later in the ICU. On top of this, we devel developed a medical device called Coral System, breakthrough device designation from the FDA. It just had, uh, it's FDA approved, and we just announced that we get a <coughs> CP3 code, which is the first and a very important step to, <coughs> to obtain reimbursement for this device. I, I just want to show you the, the basis for what brain cool doing. Here on the right, you see where the brain cool system are. This is standard of care, <coughs> a market of four or five million Swedish per year, which system that treats patients in the intensive care. All feasibility studies, all animal studies indicate that you should cool as quickly as possible. You start treating these patients after five, four, five, six hours in the ICU, but we have data that if you can <coughs> start cooling patients very, very early, you get dramatically different results. We are the only company in the world that has a device that's approved for pre-hospital treatment of cardiac arrest and early cooling for stroke. So, so that is the long-term vision of, of brain cool. What we then do are doing with these three devices is the brain cool system has an ambition to have revenues being profitable of more than 100 million Swedish already 2025. We got upfront orders in this distribution de deal with Sol of more than 100 million. We are on a market driven by, thank you, I got a slight cold. By guidelines, there is competition, but there is a great growth case for brain cool with a device with a good patent protection and a very good business model. Then we're running trials with the Rhino Chill, early cooling of cardiac arrest patients, followed with the brain cool system at the ICU, clinical trials completely funded by the Karolinska Institute with the aim to show that we really could improve the life and survival of cardiac arrest patients. We're using the same technology for early cooling of stroke patients in the hospital, treated with thrombectomy. We already published our first result of, of our first trial with dramatically improvement of survival of good neurological outcome of stroke patients. These two projects will take this company further in a couple of years. We expect to launch the stroke product already 2025 and two years later uh, a new treatment for cardiac arrest. Finally, the Coral system is an outlier because it's for an oncology, uh, for a side effect called cardiac arrest, uh, called <laughs> oral mucositis, a side effect of cancer treatment. On average, US patients have healthcare cost of $25,000 of this side effect. We're the only solution approved. There's no pharmaceutical product approved, so we are the first mover. And we work hard now to get solid reimbursement before we launch this product. I, I go in very little on our trials, uh, mentioning primarily our project in stroke, which is funded by the European Union of more than 3 million euro. We, we actually go into the Nevro cath lab where you do a procedure called thrombectomy. You start cooling with our early cooling device Rhinoshiel, you cool down the patient very, very quickly in 30 minutes when they undergo the thrombectomy and then onto the ICU. And we're doing this because 
Although trombectomy has improved survival with good neurological outcome of stroke patients dramatically since its uh, since, it's, since the launch started 2016, we have shown that by cooling this patient, you could dramatically reduce the brain da damage. What we've shown in our first feasibility data comparing to hysterical data and the shift analysis, that we proved survival good neurological outcome from 34% to 68%. Pa 68 patients, uh, 68 and this is unseen. There has been thousand pharmaceutical agents from the renowned biotech industry trying to reach uh, the market for ischemic stroke and we think we can launch a completely new tra treatment already in 2025. We also have similar fantastic results in cardiac arrest showing dramatic improvement if you cool patients within 20 minutes compared to four or five hours today that really improves survival with complete neurological recovery. This we're trying to show in a larger randomized trial with Karolinska Institute, the trials that will be completed in 2027. Coral system, in short, side effect of cancer treatment, you cool the mouth when you undergo chemotherapy. We also have product for radiation. The cooling makes the chemotherapy not reaching the cells, same, uh, same strategy as uh, the hair growth companies. And we have shown with trials with Karolinska very, very solid results that really led to US approval. We're now working to get reimbursement. So in short, Brainkill is a medical device company. We get sales, we will see revenues, we have a sharp business model. But furthermore, we have very interesting clinical trials that can take this medical device to complete new therapies, and they are not funded by Brainkill. We've been very, very successful in raising EU grants up to 80 million until now. You probably know all about the long-term cost of stroke. Uh, I will not go into details, but we think we can save healthcare cost of each stroke and cardiac arrest patients of $100,000 per patient and thereby obtain very, very strong reimbursement. We got sales breakthrough with the brain system. I guess you already heard about that. We have enormous business case together with Sol, which is a major international player where we signed a distribution deal for US or Germany. We're launching early November in Southeast Asia and there's a big potential that we can expand this product further internationally. Um, there's a breakthrough device, breakthrough potential of the Rhineshill. In our trials of cardiac arrest, if they would be successful, Karolinska Institute to show that you improve survival with complete neurological recovery if you cool patients within 20 minutes. All these patients will be cooled with Rhinoshield and then with brain cooling in the ICU. It's about 700k patients in the EU and the US. We are the only one that could then cool patients within 20 minutes, so we think we have a dramatic opportunity to obtain reimbursement and much higher pricing there too. In every chill, I mentioned, it goes without saying, we expect 2025, if our randomized trial of 400 patients to be successful, to launch this product already then in both US and America, where then we'll cool patients that undergo thrombectomy, which is another medical device procedure. Oral mucositis, I, I mentioned the potential with the first mover product. We haven't launched yet. Brinkle is a fairly small company, so, so this is still a business development project, but uh, it's worth mentioning that some of the healthcare costs per patients in the US, for example, in lymphoma patients are between $70,000 to $300,000 per patient. So I think our breakthrough project has almost uh, pharmaceutical, pharma project potential, but without having to spend all the money. Management, myself, our CEO is recruited from Autos Medical, where he was Vice President of Development. We've got a CTO who's been one of the main developers for Lucas, a device that now is in 25,000 ambulance. Excellent quality scientific director and CFO. And that's about it. If I have 10 seconds. I will give you 10 seconds. I should mention, <laughs> why on earth should you invest in BrainCool? Brainco is not average. We got through breakthrough device destinations. 
That's the way we deal with the FDA. We recently approved a 510K for our product, ICO, in 19 days. You have not seen a company doing that ever in Europe. We got sales, we got growth, we got very good business models. We've shown that we can sign distribution deal, partner agreement with global companies. We have trials, groundbreaking trials, stroke and cardiac arrest, funded by somebody else. If we succeed in that, you should take the money, biotech investors, and put them, maybe not in brain cool, but definitely in medical device. That's about it. Thank you. We have lots of questions for you here, Martin. I oh. think we will uh, start with quite a basic one. How do you cool down the brain? No, it's um, the product of today, uh, like brain cool system, is a surface-based cooling where you cool down the whole body. It's like sort of a chemotherapy. So you cool down the body with the aim to cool down the brain. But obviously, the long-term target and the best product would be selective brain cool. And then if we look into our second product, the Rhinochill, you cool down the brain through a catheter with the cooling agents and, and pressured air. So you cool very, very quickly and very hard. And this has to be done in sedated patients. The challenge done with Rhinochill is that you can probably cool only up to three, four hours. But, but it's shown in the ICU that you have to treat the patients often for days. So, so I think we have the perfect combination. We can do selective brain cooling and then combine it with our products. If one go way back in time, our first idea was to make selective brain cool with a product called Polar Cap System, which is a head neck cooling, then we should then tag along to the brain cool system. But we divested that company to yeah, the stock market and it's now doing very successful um, treatment in treatment of concussion, sports related concussions. Long answer to your short question. Well, you mentioned uh, divesting a company there. We've had a question here saying that the oncology product is the odd bird in your portfolio. Could you potentially divest that and focus all the resources on the resources rather on the neurological space? I should give an honest answer, which might hurt someone. We we divested Polacool. Bam! It didn't have any management present. From the sidelines, it's been a tough journey to watch this company. I think you shouldn't divest a company if you don't have a management in place right. directly from the start that worked way, way before you divest it. However, we have shown that we can sell. We, it's public that we've been offered money for the ICO system often more money than we have had as a stock market value. So, so that could be an option. But, but it's not really a question for, it, it might be a question for Martin Valle, but we have a very strong board, new owners. I see. Now, so it's nothing that's communicated. Right. Personally, I don't think spotlights need another medical device company with weak management. Saying that, Brinkle has not a weak management. <laughs> Keeping with the, the theme of making money, will the forecast of 100 million second sales 2025 generate profit in 2025? I mean, the short answer is yes. But, but then you have to come back to what is Brinkle doing in the stroke, cardiac arrest, and oncology case. Should we continue to push money in this? which we have been very successful getting money from the EU, et cetera. So, so the, there, there you have the cl classic challenge with brain cool. I think the industrial companies like Sol, Medtronic, Terumu, they love us because we're like an industrial company with a lot of products and a lot of synergies. But the stock market have been healthy skeptical. So, so I don't have a good... On well, Yes, we can be definitely product profitable with this product line. Right. A final question that I think has a definite answer, because going back to the sci science, how much brain temperature decrease do you see in your stroke trials, just to mention the stroke here? I mean, that's a very good question, because of course there's, there's a surrogate 
how you measure the brain temperature. Because how should you measure the brain temperature for stroke patients? I mean, there's a number of different technologies. But we have done in our animal studies, for example, Ranshill on pigs, where, where you broke up the skull and put a thermometer in the brain, which you can't do, unfortunately. No, I'm kidding. On the stroke patients. But, but our surrogate is that we can cool down up to 2.7 degrees in a very short period of time. Mm -hmm. One should then compare to our product Brinkle system or the market of the ICU. This takes hours for other products. Mm -hmm. And I think here is the, the true pitch of Brinkle. If you can cool br down the brain very, very quickly, you get the dramatic results we see in our stroke trials. Uh, I should make one comparison. There has been one of the biggest stroke meetings in Toronto or the biggest stroke meeting of the year in Toronto two weeks ago, there's a number of the biotech, I'm smiling, the biotech companies or pharma companies that rebirthed the drugs for ischemic stroke and tried to do them in parallel with trompectomy. And, and one of the biggest uh, trial was presented in Toronto and they failed their target to improve survival of good neurological outcome of two percent. We improve with 34 percent. So, so that's the trick of early cooling. That was too long answer, you think? Yeah, but it was also the perfect way to end the presentation. So I thank you so much, Martin. <laughs>